Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across a printer driver is unavailable error on your Windows 10 computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing here would be to open up the start menu. Let's type in device manager. Best results should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. You want to expand the section that says print Q and double click on it. Right click on whatever printer you're having the problem with and select uninstall device. Select uninstall. And then once you've done that you want to close out of here. Restart your computer and then you also want to unplug your printer and plug it back in if it's a wired connection. If it's wireless then you just would walk through the printer setup utility built into Windows so this would open up the start menu type in printer. Best match would say printers and scanners and underneath that you can see it's actually a shortcut here to add a printer or scanner. Go ahead and select that and you would just walk through the add a printer or scanner utility here. You would scan for printers on your network so go ahead and make sure your printer is turned on obviously and connected to your network if it is a wireless printer and then just go through and install it and that's pretty much it guys. You also want to consider if your printer is in the default printer so you might have to go down to printers and scanners and go ahead and select the printer that you want to set as default then you would select manage and you want to go ahead and set it as your default printer. So what you would do is uncheck where it says let Windows manage my default printer and then you would select whichever printer you want as default you select manage and then you would set it as default. So if for some reason Windows wasn't recognizing your correct default printer, you go ahead and select the correct one and then open it up like I just showed you guys here and then you would set as default. So pretty straightforward process guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.